Now that your board has detailed components, it's time to export for MCAD. To do so, click myecad.io to open the list of your boards. Clicking the plus button will give a brief summary of when and what type of upload it started as. Now click on Action, and a list of export formats will open. In this example, we'll choose STEP AP214 assembly file. Doing so prompts a choice about exporting the copper trace data. Most people will choose to export the traces as an image to be reattached in MCAD. Others who are interested in doing EMF and thermal analysis in their MCAD tool may choose to export the copper traces as features in the solid model. We will choose the first option because we are not doing analysis and our MCAD tool will run faster without the extra data in the model. Once we click Create, we notice the server queues, then begins processing the file conversion. Timing will depend on how many other jobs are running on the server and how complex your board is. While it's processing, you can continue to use ecad.io to work on other boards. Let's open this Arduino Mega and explore a very useful feature under Tools called Show Hide Components. Here we can do things like hide the PCB and hide components below a certain height. This feature is particularly useful when your board has a high number of tiny components. Hiding these tiny components will save time and free up processing power once you've imported your board into your MCAD tool. You can also hide or show component keepout areas. Lastly, what you do in this preview window is WYSIWYG, meaning what you hide or show here will affect what is output when you create your MCAD file. Some time has passed. Let's find the MCAD file we made for Arduino. Click on myecad.io and press the plus button. We see the process has completed and I've been sent a confirmation email. You now have options. You may either download the file or send it to various cloud services and online CAD tools. In this case, I will download as a zip file. Once it's downloaded, if you look inside, you'll notice it contains a step file and two decals for the top and bottom of the board. You can now open the step file in your NCAD tool of choice. For more information on supported products, please see the Supported Systems page under Resources. Thank you for watching.